Okay, y'all, here's a question. What's creepier than a big abandoned old high school? Answer, a creepy old abandoned high school with a graveyard on its lawn. Hey everybody, Keith Dotson here, and in this video we're exploring and photographing the big abandoned high school building in Clarksdale, Mississippi. It's not every day you find an abandoned high school with a graveyard on its lawn, but that's exactly what they have here in Clarksdale. We'll check out the graveyard first, then we'll go take a look at the high school building itself. The Bobo Senior High School building, later named Clarksdale High School, is an abandoned historic school building on a hill overlooking the Sunflower River in Clarksdale, Mississippi. It opened about 1930 and closed in 1999. If you've spent any time in Clarksdale at all, you've probably seen it looming across the river from downtown. And if you're saying why would anyone go to Clarksdale, Mississippi, you're obviously not a music lover. Clarksdale is famous as the so-called birthplace of blues music. Many of the greatest blues musicians from back in the day were born here or got their start here. There's still an active blues scene here today with blues clubs and festivals and all kinds of things going on. Some of the names associated with Clarksdale include Sam Cooke, John Lee Hooker, Sun House, Robert Johnson, Ike Turner, Muddy Waters, Howlin' Wolf, W.C. Handy, Tommy Johnson, Charlie Musselwhite, Junior Parker, Charlie Patton, Pine Top Perkins, who I actually got to see perform a long time ago in Texas, and Sonny Boy Williamson, and that's just a partial list. Here's some information about the old high school and the graveyard quoted from a historic registry at the Mississippi Department of Archives and History. And again, this is quoting. The Bobo Senior High School building is located in a residential neighborhood near the Sunflower River. The three-story brick and masonry school was built in 1929-1930, designed by architect P.J. Krause, remains a strong example of Gothic Revival architecture as applied to a school building. The land where the school sits was formerly the Bobo Family Plantation. The family donated the land to the city with the provision that the property be used for education. Even after the school was built, the Bobo Family Home sat on the property, all that structure has since been demolished. The Bobo Family Cemetery remains on the school grounds. As originally built, the school had an auditorium, gymnasium, and cafeteria. In 1946, N.W. Overstreet oversaw conversion of much of the auditorium into classroom space. However, the stage with a decorative plaster proscenium and decorative plaster cornices remain. End quote. And about the Bobo Family Cemetery at Clarksdale High School, the National Register of Historic Places application for the property includes the following information. Just west of the arcade, the Bobo Family Cemetery remains on the site. The Bobo family was early settlers in Clarksdale, and the school is located on the family's former plantation. There are three rows of headstones marking the graves of 13 family members. The dates on the headstones range from May 4, 1801 to March 24, 1895. End quote. So basically what we have here are two of my favorite things in one location. Old abandoned buildings and historic cemeteries. I had a Clarksdale local tell me a ghost story about this cemetery. She said a client of hers, who lived across the street from the school when she was a little girl, had stayed home from church one Sunday morning, and while looking out her window, she saw a man in ragged clothes stand up in the cemetery, seemingly coming up out of the ground or out of nowhere, and wander away. Now my guess is it was probably a homeless person, or someone who'd had a little too much to drink and fell asleep in the cemetery, but who knows?
It's a real shame to let such a gorgeous building go to waste, isn't it? It's a little bit sad seeing that rope on the flagpole just blowing in the breeze, knowing that no flag will ever fly here again. Well, I hope you enjoyed exploring this abandoned high school and cemetery with me. Thanks for watching. Be sure to visit my website at keithdotson.com.